ಭಕ್ತವೃಂದ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಕೋಟಿ ಸಮಪ್ರಭ ನಿರ್ವಿಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಭೇದೇವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯಂ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭಂ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಿರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವಲೋಕಾಭವರೋಗಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿ ವ್ಯೋಮವತ್ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇವಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪದ್ಮುವ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಶಕ್ತಿ ತತ್ಪುತ್ರ ಪರಾಶರಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ಶುಕ ಗೌಡಪದ ಮಹಾಂತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಯೋಗೇಂದ್ರಮಥ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಥ ಪದ್ಮಪಾದ ಹಸ್ತಮಲಕ ಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸಂತೋಟಕ ವಾರ್ತಿಕಾರಮನ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಸ್ಮದ್ಗುರೂನ್ ಸಂತತಮಾನಸ್ಮಿ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೋ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾರ್ಥಸ್ವಿಣ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತಾರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತ ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರ ವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧಿ ತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತ ಶಾಂತಿ but there is problem in uh, the zoom it is not showing uh, the header only when i can share uh, the text i can share it is not showing the header you can see the the, the, the top that it's, uh, it's rotating <clears throat> so i won't be able to share the in the copunisha the bashim file anyway it's okay we will continue the topic what we were discussing in the last class you remember the topic important topic the mantra is very important mantra what was the topic apavada vakyam we are saying samana adikaranyam the samana adikaranyam yeah important so let me talk about samana adikaranyam and different types of samana adikarya and different types of lakshana in this class then after that we can read this mantra and anyway, i can i cannot share the file because it doesn't allow me to share the file with zoom some problem is there so no problem we can do discuss on samana adikarya samana adikarana samana adikarya samana adikarya ಪದಯೋಗೋ ಸಮಾನ ಅಧಿಕರಣ ಪದಯೋಗೋ ಸಮಾನ ಸಮಾನ ಪದಯೋಗೋ ಸಾಮಾನಾಧಿಕರಣ್ಯ ಪದಾರ್ಥ ಯೋಗೋ ವಿಶೇಷಣ ವಿಶೇಷ ಭಾವ ಭಿನ್ನ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತಿ ನಿಮಿತ್ತ ಸಮಾನ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಕಾಂ 
एकस्मिन् विषये तात्पर्य पदयोग सामनाकरण्यम पदार्थयोग विशेष विशेष भाव दिस वाक्यम वि नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सामनाकरण्यम टू वर्ड्स दे हैव गॉट भिन्न प्रवृत्ति दे हैव गॉट भिन्न प्रवृत्ति भिन्न प्रवृत्ति में इट हैज गॉट डिफरेंट बेसिस ऑफ यूसेज भिन्न प्रवृत्ति as i was explaining the last uh, class when i said blue lily blue is a word a padam you know what a padam is padyate nyayate anena iti padam that by which is is known knowledge is something is known so padam denotes the padartha the object so blue blue is a padam and blue lily can can sorry can't hear you ji we have lost you of course can hear me now 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 we can hear you yeah i'm saying neela utpalam when we say neela utpalam neela meaning blue utpalam meaning lily yes utpalam meaning lily so neela utpalam the neela the blueness the blue it is not only with utpalam it is not seen only with utpalam it's not seen only with the the lily blue sky is there blue shirt is there blue color house is there so they got bina pravritti so blue being a color to denote the color of an object it has got the pravritti it has got the the, the usage so bina pravritti similarly utpalam is a flower there are different types of flower among those flower you are distinguishing by saying utpalam and similarly utpalam the lily are available in different colors and among them you are filtering and saying it is of a specified color blue so two words are used and they have got bina pravritti but they are used together blue lily neela utpalam bhinna pravritti is there brahma bhinna pravritti nimitta naam pada naam and samana vibhakti in sanskritam they got vibhakti they got vibhakti what vibhakti samana vibhakti they got same vibhakti so when there is same vibhakti for two different words which have got different kinds of pravritti the application or the usage and when they are used together then what is the relationship between them the relationship between them is generally visheshana visheshya bhavaha this is what we commonly understand visheshana visheshya two padam two padam denoting two padartha blue and utpalam two padartha do they denote a different object no ekasmin vishaye eva tatvarya both denote the same thing what is that that lily only lily the flower and blue is not something away from the blue it is also located in the it is also located in the flower alone so ekasmin vishaye tatvarya therefore padayogo samanaadikaranyam between the two pada two words there is samana adikaranam padayo samana and padartha yoga visheshana visheshya bhavah two words having the same denote the same thing they got the locus they got the locus same locus they got the same locus so samana adikaranyam means the relationship between the two words are in the same locus that is samana adikaranyam if that is so then the word the, the relationship between the words could be vishesha and visheshya bhavah that is one thing that is qualifier qualified relationship or it could be lakshya lakshana bhava the relationship between the two words the relationship be, between the two words for this it a represent an identical thing the same thing that is also lakshya lakshana bhavah naishkarmya 
सिद्धि सुरेश्वराचार्य से सामनाधिकरण विशेषण विशेषता लक्ष्य लक्षण संबंध पदार्थ प्रत्यकात्मना रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू पदम्स हैविंग द सेम लोकस लोक एंड दैट बिटवीन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स क्वालिफाइंग ईच अदर दे आर डू नॉट डू नॉट अ कॉमन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू वर्ड्स एंड द आइडेंटिकल थिंग व्हिच इज इंप्लाइड बाय देम सो देयरफॉर सामनाधिकरण्यम इज the relationship between the two words having the same locus the relationship between two words having the same locus we saw some examples in the last class this is that soyam that devadatta so that means what that is something connected with the past i have seen in 20 years before that person that the time is different he is that devata yes the word is soyam devadatta asti that that he, the current the time is that lakara vartamana kala but that referring to that which was before 20 years past and this referring to I am referring to in the work of Swayam Deva Saha that that referred to that something which is which which uh, that person Deva Datta who I saw twenty years before and this referring to Deva Datta is now is connected with the present. Now Saha and I am Swayam do they refer to two different things or the same thing? They refer to the same thing, the same person called Deva Datta. सोयम देवदत्ता सामनाधिकरण्यम आद सामनाधिकरण्यम अध्यास सामनाधिकरण्यम एंड इन द ग्रामर वी हैव थिंग सामनाधिकरण्यम दैट इज आल्सो इज सर इन द ग्रामर व्याकरणम थिंग सामनाधिकरण्यम एंड लक्षण लक्ष्य सामनाधिकरण्यम सो इति सामनाधिकरण्यम व्हाट डिफरेंट दैट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सामनाधिकरण्यम so why we discuss different type some why we discuss samanadikaran at all here because the mantra says purusha eve idam sarvam therefore only need to discuss samanadikaran so here the purusha eva idam this purusha everything has come from the akshara purusha and by that that only it is sustained and to that only it is resolved so therefore purusha paramatma idam idam jagat that is samanadikaranya and that paramatma is that jagat karanam brahma is myself jiva agam api so three things are the jiva jagat ishvara Triputi, Deva is the relationship between Ishvara and the Jagat. The relationship between Ishvara and me. The Bhagavatam, the samanda, the relationship between Ishvara and me is present. Tatu tom asi. And here in this mantra, Purusha ha eva idam Jagat iti. The Purusha that. Brahma is this jagat. Purusha ha idam vishvam. So therefore, samana dikaranim is there. What samana dikaranam? That is what we have to understand. 
let us learn one more thing. Already we have taught, talked about that. First, we will just see that and then we will come back here. That is, the Mahavakyam Tattu Tom Asi. Tattu referring to Brahma. Tom referring to the, the individual, the Jiva. Tattu, we discussed recently in Tattu Bada class also. Tattu is Tat Shabdasya Pratamala Dati Ekavacham. Napum Sakalinga. Tattu. Tattu Brahma. Brahma is Napum Sakalinga, therefore Tattu. Tat Tom. Tom is Krishna Shabda Pratama Bhakti Ekavacham. So Tat and Tom. Same Vibhakti. When they have same Vibhakti, then it is called Samana Dikaranam. If it is Samana Dikaranam, then the relationship could be Visheshana Visheshya. Possible. Is that Visheshana Visheshya? Is it Visheshana Visheshya that we discussed in the last class? It is not that Ishwara is an adjective to me, or neither I am an adjective to the Ishwara. It is both have. Both are, both the words are same with the They are used to show that they are not different. It is both the words which are same with the is used. It is equated. Now we have to apply the lakshana. The three lakshana means implications. We have, we have said before that the lakshana, lakshanam, that the lakshana that is uh, the the method by which we understand the, the relationship between the words. We understand the meaning of the words and the relationship between them. It's called Lakshana. Three types of Lakshana. Lakshana is translated as implications. Then we use all this we use in our daily language. Jagal Lakshana, Ajagal Lakshana, Jagat, Jagat. Ajagal Lakshana, three types of Lakshana. Remember, Jagal Lakshana, Ganga Yam Goshaha, Ganga Yam Goshaha, the village of the, the, the cowards is on the bank of the Ganga. How can the village be on the bank of the Ganga? Ganga is the river, so it's a flowing one. On the river, you cannot have a village. So, Ganga Yam Goshaha, how do we understand? In the Jagahara also we use Ganga Yam Goshaha. So, the Delhi arrives on the platform number two. He said, How can the Delhi arrive on the platform number two? Delhi is located some 1800 200 kilometers away from here. How can it arrive on the platform? You cannot literally lift and then bring it. The whole city, uh, the city, Delhi capital. So we do the Lakshana, Lakshana Vritti. That is, the direct meaning of the sentence is discarded. Why it is discarded? To understand what it means, the indirect meaning. That is called Jagal Lakshana. So, negating or dismissing the direct meaning to understand what it means, the indirect meaning, the implied meaning. That is called Jagal Lakshana. So, when we say Gangayan Goshaha, so it means the village of the cowherds is on the ranches. Now, what it is? The, the Ganga, on the, we, we say, on the bank of the Ganga, the village is perfect. That is how we understand. We understand the, the meaning. But what we do? We do Jagal Lakshana. We don't take the meaning of the words literally. The direct meaning is Ganga and the village. Village located on the Ganga. The direct meaning is negative. And we know what it is, what it is implied, what it implies. The implied meaning we take. The implied meaning, the implied meaning is that the city, the village is located on the bank of the Ganga. So the direct meaning is discarded, dismissed. And the indirect meaning, the indirect meaning we take, that is, on the Ganga user, we supply on the bank of the Ganga. This is Jagal Lakshana. And there is another Lakshana, Ajagal Lakshana, where what we do is we don't discard the direct meaning completely. The direct meaning of this, this Vakya is not completely discarded. 
it is it is not completely discarded at the, at the same time we understand the implied meaning like the example this uh, we say this uh, raktaha davati raktaha davati raktaha is red color red color is davati running red is running what is red is running red is a color how, how it can run red, red can be an adjective something it cannot run so red is running so we don't dismiss the red but we understand red refers to something so red is not discarded the red is an attribute of something what is that the red horse ashwaha that, that horse which is red in color is running so what we do is we associate we associate the color of the, the, the color red with the horse we don't dismiss the red red is running it is stupid we don't dismiss we understand what it implies so not dismissing not dismissing the word completely at the same time we understand the implied meaning that is called ajagal lakshana in jagal lakshana what we do we do is we we dismiss the direct meaning and take the implied meaning on the bank of ganga when we say ganga is discarded on the bank only bank is what it is we dismiss and understand the implied meaning in ajakshana what we do we don't dismiss the, the whole akyad but we understand we understand by the implied meaning what it means then the third lakshana is jagat ajagal lakshana where what we do is the direct meaning of the sentence a part of the direct meaning of the sentence is given up and another part is retained for that only this example swayam devadattah the devadatta saha ayam devadatta saha referring to that person who i saw 20 years before He is this person? I am Devadatta. How can that Devadatta, whom I saw twenty years before, be now? I can see not possible because twenty years are gone. Changes would have happened. He would have grown beard. If at all beard is there, then he would have become grey color. So so many changes would have happened. He would have become fat, or he would have become very lean. Any change, or he would have become bald. Then how can I say that Devadatta is this Devadatta? on what basis we can say that there is no similarity two photographs are completely different but we say swayam devadatta so it means that devadatta who i saw at a particular time and particular place that is in the past and this devat this person who i see now at this time at this place so both are equated it means that we dismiss that time we dismiss the place what we do one part of the direct meaning the direct meaning a part of the direct meaning of this of the vakya is given up and another part is retained it is we dismiss the time we dismiss the place and we take that person we take the the person so dismissing the time and the place and we take what it means that the the person the person is another part another part is the person two things are involved soyam devadatta when we say one is deshakala other one is the person deshakala is given up deshakala is given up because it's 20 years before i saw him and now i am seeing so the different place different time so deshakala is given up and so this is that devadatta soyam devadatta so a part is given up and a part is retained what is given up the time and place is given up and what is retained that what is what what it denotes the person devadatta that is retained this is called bhagat tyaga lakshana here a part of a part of a part of the direct meaning is given up and another part is retained so jagat a jagat jagat a jagal lakshana this is called jagal a jagal lakshana vritti so what it means by that and what means by this both refers to the same person so therefore 
the meaning of the sentence can be achieved by giving up giving up the a part of the direct meaning and retaining the other part so this is jagat jagal lakshana so by this this is also called bhagat tyaga lakshana this is also called bhagat tyaga lakshana so by this lakshana vritti applying the lakshana vritti we understand the mahavakya tat tvam asi tat referring to brahma ishvara who has got this entire jagat as its upadhi aham this jiva who has got this limited body mind sense upadhi then tat tvam then we say upadhi tah bedah asti eva how can jagat be myself i am a small insignificant insignificant being and jagat is so big in terms of size in terms of the vibhuti the glories in terms of what the what in terms of everything it is the jagat is i have got little with the jagat is the complete wealth i don't enjoy even the jagat what i enjoy it is a like a ant i enjoy only a only a grain of the sugar how can i be equal? how can i be upaditaha equal so there is upa there is difference in terms of upadi the difference has to be appreciated it is known very well known you cannot dismiss upadi you cannot dismiss upadi 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 and say that i we both are i mean we cannot accept the upadi and say we both are I mean that the brahma ishvara and myself are same accepting the upadi we cannot say the upadi cannot be upadi just just like that it cannot be the i mean this the we cannot uh, we cannot with upadi we cannot equate so with upadi we cannot we cannot equate ourselves with ishvara so upadi ka beda gasti eva upadi dishtya beda but at the same time mahavakyam this is not a simple uh, statement mahavakyam revealed by the shastra the tatparyam is this tatvamasi the aikyam this is what aikya samanaadi karanyam so here what we do we apply the bhagatyaga lakshana ajagat jagat ajagal lakshana we apply what it means by the word tat tat referring to brahma the ishvara who is with this upadi so upadi tah bedah asti upadi the god upadi bedah is sir so drop the upadi a part of the meaning of the sentence is dropped that is what we saw jagat ajagal lakshana like swayam devadattah it is dropped so when we say tat you drop the upadi so minus upadi what the tat refers to minus upadi what is the tat refers to the tat refers to sutta chaitanyam the tat refers to minus upadi refers to chaitanyam sutta chaitanyam all these are in the tattva bodha you have to recollect tattva bodha we have not discussed all this lakshana vritti and all but it is required so this tat tat referring to the shuddha chaitanyam fine then similarly if we do the analysis of kampada vichara tat tvam kampada vichara then what is avashishtam after doing tvam referring to me so i also this the meaning of the immediate meaning of the word i is the tvam is with this body mind sense complex that is chaitanyam with this body mind sense complex so the immediate meaning vachyartha similarly vachyartha of that is ishvara with this upadhi so the vachyartha we have to drop and vachyartha literal meaning is drop that's why the part of the meaning is drop and what is indicated by that the lakshya lakshyartha is understood so the upadhi of the ishvara is drop and what the word tat means that is understood what is avashishtam after dropping the upadhi that is shuddha chaitanyam similarly on the part of the jiva agam the upadhi is you have to drop it minus upadhi what is left of is chaitanyam shuddha chaitanyam so that chaitanyam and this chaitanyam are the two different chaitanyams 
how can there be two different chaitanya if there are two different chaitanya and the chaitanya becomes limited therefore therefore that being only one that that being only chaitanya consciousness that is what we refer to by the word brahma chaitanya so therefore that is aikyam so therefore we say jiveshwara yoga aikya sambandha therefore tat tvam when we say there tat and tvam both padam having bhinna prakriti but have samana vibhakti and what it indicates what it is committed it is committed in showing or revealing the tatparya that jiva is not different from ishvara jiva and ishvara from the standpoint of chaitanya they are same how do we arrive at bhagatyaga lakshana discarding the path and accepting the path discarding a discarding the upadi and retaining what the word means that is chaitanya therefore from the standpoint of consciousness that is oneness aikya sambandha therefore what samana adikaranam is that between the jiva and ishvara aikya samana adikaranam aikya samana adikaranam this is between jiva and ishvara by applying bhagat tyaga lakshana vritti that is why that, that lakshana vritti also explain now that is one part now in this mantra second mundaka ashtakanta 10th mantra purusha eve idam vishvam the purusha akshar purusha the brahma idam vishvam he is this the world so that akshara purusha is a world is this jagat akshara purusha is this jagat so here purushaha and idam jagat jagat both are in same vibhakti bhinna pravritti nimitta nam samana vibhakti ka nam then there is what samana adikaranam is there that we have to see what samana it is like aikya samana adikaranam it is aikya samana adikaranam or vishesha vishesha samana adikaranam or adhyasa samana adikaranam or uh, pada samana adikaranam the last class we discussed this is what we discussed in the last class there is pada samana adikaranam in the last class we discussed pada samana adikaranam aikya samana adikaranam i said we will do it in the next class that's what we saw in the beginning now let us recall what we saw pada samana adikaranam i gave for that many example ayam sarpaha rajjuhu eva that's the best example ayam sarpaha rajjuhu this serpent is is the rope that is uh, sarpa only rajju alone is there but that is not known to you in the beginning only the only only when sufficient light is there then you would see it is dust rajju but before but before in the semi darkness you mistook the rajju the rope for a sarpa sarpa is a word it has got bhinna pravritti rajju has got rajju is another word it has got another bhinna pravritti different kind of different basis for its usage now sarpaha rajju ayam sarpaha rajju sarpa and rajja are same vibhakti bhinna pravritti nimitta nam samana vibhakti ka nam ekasmin vishaye tatparya both are equated both are, when they are in same vibhakti then it has ye conveys that that ekasmin vishaye tatparya they have committed in presenting the one thing not two different things you cannot see sarpa and rajju both in the same place if both in the same place then that will be dvi vachanam but sarpa hai is ek vachanam and rajju is uh, is ek vachanam both are same vibhakti and it cannot be visheshana vishesha also how can sarpa be an adjective sarpa is not a attribute of rajju like uh, the neela is not like neela is an attribute of utpala like that sarpa is not an attribute here so that it is visheshana vishesha sambandha samana adikaranam here it is is it visheshya visheshana no sarpa is before when you don't know when you were in ajnanam ignorance you recognized by mistake that the something was there in the form and something was there and uh, like a snake and he took it as a snake sarpa now 
when torch light was brought in, when with the help of torch light, you could see that it is a rope. So before it was serpa, now it is rope. So what what we do here? So what we did here is we we dismissed we dismissed serpa we dismissed serpa and we arrived at that it was a raju. So negation of snake. So negation of snake is involved in understanding the rope. So the negation is involved in arriving at the, the that, arriving at, at the without parim understanding. So therefore Sarpaha Raju Samanadi Karani Masti. Therefore, the, the words, the quality of the words, they are committed to reveal an object. How to how to how does it, how does it reveal an object? By bada, by negation. By negating the say snake, the object Raju is revealed. You arrive at the knowledge of the Raju. So therefore, Samanadi Karanam is by the negation. This is called Bada Samanadi Karanyam. The two words are not adjective, they, they are not to be, they don't have Visheshana Vishesha Sammanta. They, they are not adjective substantive. That they that, that relationship they don't have. But they are in the same vibhakti. Therefore, how did we understand? We understood that that relationship between them is, is, is not Visheshana Vishesha by the dismissal of the wrong knowledge snake, we arrive at the right knowledge Raju. So that is Bada Samanadi Karanya. Is it not is it Aikya Samanadi Karanam? No. How can snake and the Jew be Aikyam? If, if it's so, then wherever rope is, there must be snake. Or wherever snake is, there must be rope. That's a problem. That is Bada Samanadi Karanya. So you can remember this example, Raju Sarpa example, where we apply Bada Samanadi Karanyam and arrive at the, the meaning of the Vakya, the sentence. Similarly, the same thing here we do with regard to the, the Jagat. When we say Jagat is, when we say Jagat is Ishvara, again, if you see the previous example, Sarpaha is Mitya. Sarpa doesn't exist. The Satyam is Raju. That is important. That word is important. Sarpa is, Sarpa is really there? No, it is Mitya. It is, it was relatively existent as long as you were in ajnana it was existent therefore relative existence it is mitya so dismissing nitya arriving at the satya vastu which is raju similarly with regard to jagat also when we say jagat nama rupatmaka jagat jagat is purushaha iti purushaha is shuddha chaitanyam purusha ishvaraha and Jagat is consists of so many objects and things with different Nama and Rupas. So, that Brahma, Purusha is Brahma. The Brahma is this Jagat when we say. Now, the question comes. Is Brahma Savishesha or Nirvishesha? Savishesham or Nirvishesham? Nirguna Brahma is without Nama Rupa. Nama Rupa Ragitam. Brahma, Nirguna Brahma. And Savishesham Brahma is with Nama Rupa. So Nirguna Brahma you cannot experience because it is Nirguna. Without Nama Rupa you cannot experience anything. If you experience objects of the world because they have got Nama Rupa. Minus Nama Rupa, what it is? It is pure Sat. How can Sat be experienced? You are Chitta and that is Sat. And there is no difference between chit and sat. So how, how can that be experienced? Therefore, Nama Rupa is Nama and Rupa is a therefore Jagat is experienced. Now this the Nama Rupa is Satyam. This Nama Rupa is Mitya. This Nama Rupa is not Satyam. This Nama Rupa is Mitya. So therefore we say this Jagat which consists of Nama Rupa, this Nama Rupa is Mitya. So dismissing the Nama Rupa, dismiss the Nama Rupa, what is that? The Brahma alone is that? That is Bada Samana Dikaranyam. So when we say this Jagat is Ishvara, with the Nama Rupa, 
Ambarupa being limited. How can the limited be the Ishvara? Ishvara, the Brahma is unlimited. The word Brahma itself is derived from the Dhatu, Bruhi, Vruddhav, means it is unlimited. It is complete, total. Namarupa limits. They are the they are limited thing. An object, when we say it as an object, has got a name, has got a form. When it has got a form, it is limited. So Jagat is also, even if it is infinite Jagat, it is limited only. Even if it is infinite Jagat, when it is Namarupa, Namarupa Atmakan Jagat is limited. So, how can this limited be unlimited? How can the, the finite world, the Jagat be the infinite Brahma? So what we do here is, we drop the Nama Rupa of the Jagat. Jagat is nothing but this Nama Rupa Atmakam. Dismissing the Nama Rupa, the Swarupa of the Jagat or the content of the Jagat or that without which the Jagat cannot exist. What is that? That is Brahma. So, therefore, that what we do? Pada Samana Dikaranyam. That we do. Pada Samana Dikaranyam. Astivadi Priyam Rupam. Namachet Amshapanchakam. Adyatrayam Brahma Rupam. Jagat Rupam. Tato Dvayam. In the Jagat Shiviveta. Said. This Astivadi Priyam. Satchit Ananda. That is Brahma. And Nama and Rupa. Iti Pancha Amshakam is there. Adyatrayam Brahma Rupam. Sachit Ananda, they are not three. They are Lakshana. It means the same Brahma. Jagat Rupam, this Nama Rupam. That Nama Rupa is Nitya. Therefore, only we say five minus five minus two is equal to one. Five minus two is equal to one. Five is Asti, that is Sat, Bhati, Chit, Priyam, Ananda, Sachit Ananda. Here also, Sachit Ananda, Satyam, Yanam, Anantam, Brahma. The same chanting the Upanishad that Satyam, Jnana, Manantam all are in same Vibhakti. Samana Adhikranyam. What Samana Adhikranyam? Is it Visheshana Vishesha? Brahma does it have Satyam, Jnana, Manantam as it Visheshana? No. This is Lakshana. It is not Visheshana, it is Lakshana. So if Visheshana is something which is available here, it may be available somewhere else. Visheshana limits, but it is Lakshana, it is Swarupa. So, Sat Chit Anda, that is Asti Bhati Priyam, then Nama Rupa. It is five are that Asti Bhati Priyam, really not three, it is only one only, that is Brahma. Then with Nama Rupa plus three, five. Now, this five among the five, Nama Rupa is what? Mitya. It is Mitya. So five minus two, what is you have? Not three. Sat Chit Ananda is only one. So one. Therefore, Ekam Brahma Yeva. 5 minus 2 is equal to 1. This is our equation, not by the mathematics. So, this Jagat is Mitya. The Jagat is Nama Rupa. Like a, when we say a pot, let us say, they understand how we say, but just how we dismiss a Jagat also. Pot, pot is made from clay. Does a pot exist apart from clay? Minus clay, the pot doesn't exist. Then what is a pot is? Pot is just a name. And it's a name and the clay has been given a shape called shape and that is called a pot and that is got a form. So, Nama and Rupa. Is it Satyam? The Nama Rupa. Once you break the clay, once you break the pot, what is there? It's only clay. So, even with form and name, it is clay. Without form and name, it is continues to be clay only. The same thing with regard to Jagat. Also, that is what Bhashakara said in the beginning. Vacharam manam dikaro nama deyam mitika ityeva satyam iti. Quoting the Chandavi Upanishad in the beginning, Bhashakara aptly quoted for this mantra. So, there we equate Purusha, the Brahma, with Jagat. We, we, when we equate what Samana Dikaranyam is there? Vada Samana Dikaranyam, like the pot clay example or the Sadhajusar, for example. So dismissing, dismissing Nama Rupa as Mitya and minus Mitya, what is that? It is minus, the Mitya is, Mitya is dismissed and therefore Purusha and this Jagat are equated. 
Now, Purusha and Jagat are, there is no difference between Purusha and Jagat, they are equated. And Purusha and the Jiva are equated. Therefore, where, where is the Veda? The Triputi, what was there before? Jiva, Jagat, Ishvara, that Veda. Now it is reduced to Ekam Brahma, Ekam Nirgunam Brahma. So, therefore, between the Jivatma and Paramatma, the Aikyam, what we talk about is Aikya Samanadikam. Samanadikam, what we talk about is Aikya Samanadikam. Between the Jagat and the Brahma, when we talk about Samanadikaranyam, that Samanadikaranyam is Bada Samanadikaranyam. They are equated, two different, seemingly two different things are equated. It means that Nama Rupa, that, some, that Mithya is dropped. The Nama Rupa, which is Mithya, that is discarded. Minus that, they are equated. Samanadikaranyam, Bada Samanadikaranyam. So this is what here, this mantra says, Purusha Eve, Eva Idam Vishwam Iti. So this is the topic of Samanadi Karanyam, important topic. We need to understand. Then this mantra, we will see. We will see the Vashim and we will read the mantra in the next class. Since uh, we started the class very late, so we could not proceed further. But understand what Samanadi Karanyam is. Is it clear Samanadi Karanyam? All the way, will, this will be used. Yes, it clear. Yes, clear, all of you? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, so we will stop. Thank you. Om Pur Namadash Pur Namidham Pur Nath Pur Namadachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vashishyate Om Shanta Shanta Shanti Hari Om Shri Guru Pyo Namaha Hari Om Shamitam for the late sending of the link and made you wait also. I appreciate your patience. You uh, attended the class in spite of very being very late. Dhanyavada. All my doing numbers in front of your laptop or mobile. When the link will come. So thanks for that. Thank you, Haji.